My name is Uloma Yawadan Ogirengi. Welcome to this YouTube channel, a channel where you get to see edifying and soul-lifting content. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel as a blessing to us and to others. Please don't forget to click the notification bell. Thank you and God bless you. Bye. Yes, you can please have your seat. I hope you all enjoy your practical session. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about this. All right. Um. Yes, you. Sir? Yes. The tick. The tick. The tick. Please, can you clap for her? <laughs> so we are welcome once again to this great citadel of learning. And as new students, um, you need to know this. At the end of this presentation, you all understand what I was trying to explain during the practical. Ladies and gentlemen, I want all you to open your mind, lend me your ears, open your eyes, listen attentively, and I want to let you know, and I want to show you a practical mystery of this insect called the tick. The tick! You can see the diagram of the anatomy of teeth. The anatomy of the teeth. You can see the first leg, the channel here, and the papyrus of the carotomital, the femoral, and the tarsus. The fibia is here. You can see the genital and in the soma. 
and the fourth leg is stay here and the third leg and the second leg okay let's go on the time of the origin of the tick is uncertain the earliest tick of person are found in author Cretaceous or babies amber dated at 99 million years ago wow ticks are widely distributed around the world especially in one unit climates ticks hmm ticks are small blood sucking bugs are you following yes sir yes. good they can range in size in form as small as a pea head as to the life of the pencil's eraser. The ticks have eight legs, as I've shown you earlier. They are arachnids, which means they are related to spiders. They are what? Related to spiders. The different kinds of ticks can, be really, can range in color from shade of brown to reddish brown and black.
My name is Bayo, Bayo Bensi, but my friends call me B. May I know your name? I'm Judy. Actually, this is my second time on fellowship. Mm. I'm actually on a brave meeting to this campus. I thought as much, you know. I must commend you. That was a very powerful rendition. You brought that old song back to life. You oh, did well. Thank you. I'm actually grateful. Well, I must also commend your performance on the keyboard. Wow. You did very well. In fact, you made it easier for me to deliver my lines perfectly. It is the last thing, you know. And it is marvelous now. Oh. Actually. If I may ask, like, how long will you be staying with us before you go back to your base? Um, a week. Oh, one week? Yeah. That's a very good. That's very good. Um, if you don't mind, may I have your contact so that we can talk much later? Okay, no problem. Uh, Alright. Okay. 070 070 68 68 57 57 13 30 30 Now, uh, let me just find you. I'll be with you. So, we'll talk much later. No problem. Mm. If you don't mind, I need to catch up with Anna. No problem. No Take problem. care of yourself. Alright. Can I tell you this? As they take more blood, the ticks grow. At their largest, ticks can be about the size of a marble. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. After the tick has been feeding on its host for several days, they become engorged and can turn a greenish blue, a blue color. And can be turned a greenish blue color. The question is, have you ever tick on you? Hmm. To what do I compare your beauty, Judith? Who can quench this long, deep feeling in my heart? Wow! That was a swift response. This baby is very sharp. Judith. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I just want to ask you for a little bit more. I don't know if you can do it for me. Mm, I'm thinking, can we just meet tomorrow? Tomorrow? Mm, okay, it's fine by me. What time tomorrow? Let me see. My classes end by 12 noon tomorrow. 
Okay. So, what about 12.30? Oh, 12.30. Tomorrow. After this garden, we'll have lunch together. Okay, no problem. See you tomorrow then. Okay. Alright, bye then. Bye. Take care. Hello there. Yes, I'm there now. Please, where are you? Oh, sorry. I'm very sorry. I should have been a little bit more considerate now. Don't worry. Take your time. Take your time. You have the whole of today. <laughs> Trust me. I'll be here waiting for you. Take your time. Yes, yes, yes. I will be waiting for you. Hmm. I can't wait to behold her beauty once again.
stick as much sucking might, they spend a good bit of time just waiting in bushes, grass, and wood for their victim. You! Yes, you! Oh! You! Okay. They jump on an attempt to crop quickly covering to protect dead to a protected spot on your body. Then they sink their mouth part into your flesh and begin to feed on light blood. Welcome to my humble abode. This is not bad for you today. Oh, thank you. Please come sit down. Come on, sit down. Okay. There you go. Sit down. Right. So, what do I offer you? Offer me mm -hmm. again? Yeah. I've had more than enough at the restaurant. In fact, I really enjoyed our outing. Mm. You are a very caring guy. If there is anything that I need now, it's you. Wow. I can see you are all set for the second food. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm equally ready. So what? I'm supposed to lead a prayer meeting today. But, not to worry. I'll fix the mess. Bobby, if you call a guy. You are too pretty and sweet for any reasonable man to just forgo just because he wants to attend one stupid prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. The stage is set. And now, let the game begin. an assault on the image of God. This man was made in the likeness of God and meant to show forth the glory of God. But the tick enter into him and suck out the blood in him. And war began against a man who is meant to reflect God's glory. Excuse me, sir. God gave us this our bodies so that we might glorify him and reflect who he is. Aren't our bodies meant to glorify God? Yes. <laughs> yes, the tick. If undetected, if undetected, the tick will feel itself and drop off. Can you see? After leaving its host inoculated with some deli um, debilitating diseases such as spotted fever, can you see? Spotted fever, relapsing fever, Lyme fever disease, tularemia, encephalitis, or brickets. In this thing. You can trust me anytime, any day. You're so sweet. Are you living already? Oliver Twist. I'm living already. Mm -hmm. It's already late and my place is far. Let me get going. Don't worry, I'll double it for you next time. Okay, no problems. Let me. Just uh, okay. Can I just have this for your taxi? Don't worry, you don't know about this. Oh no 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 no! no. You just take it. Just uh, take it. It's not telling you. Uh, let me spoil you. Thank you see, you. you are just so sweet for me to spoil. So you just use that for your 
transport. Let me wait for you outside, okay? After you. I will join you now. Please, let me to open the door. Do it, please, now. Sister Judith. Ah, ah. Jesus. Sister Judith. Judith. Dear, yeah, please. Ah. ah, Jesus. Please, please. Shut your stupid and think him out of. Stop calling the righteous name in vain. You have climbed the mountain of no return. The thief has sucked your blood. Your destiny is ruined. I told you, I will visit you again. Nobody sees something under this gate and remain alive. Ah, Jesus, Mugbe. Oh, yeah, please now. Uh, please, eh? Uh, everything, see. I will give you my money. Please, just open the door. Let me just. Please now, eh? This is not this is not money anymore, eh? Sister Judy, Jesus, ah, Jesus, ah, Jesus, ah, eh, ah, Jesus, eh, 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 No! Are you okay? I wasn't sleeping. I must have fallen into a trance. It wasn't a dream. That was the exact dress she wore to my room. What dress are you talking about? Hmm? See, your plans have failed. You cannot come and truncate my destiny. Please, go back to where you are coming from. I don't understand this. You invited me over here, and now I'm here. So what is all this about? I said those things on phone when I was foolish. Now I am very okay. Please, you can just go back. Robby, you're embarrassing me. And I will embarrass you the more. Really? Ah. This doesn't make sense. Yes. I don't want to make sense at this point. You want to come and spoil my destiny and you are telling me I'm not making sense? I don't get it. Don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Yes. Really? I don't want to make sense. It is better I don't make sense. Ha. Ah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If not for God, she would have just destroyed. Ah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just 
as thick may seem harmless. We know they are not. They can carry a disease that can seriously harm our bodies. Any question? Question, please. We have come to the end of our class. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, uh, please permit me. Although it's supposed not to happen like that or to end up like that. And, um, but can I say something to you all? Okay. I know some of you are beautiful, and some, some of you are fantastic, but permit me to chip in this. <laughs> some of you are already laughing, <laughs> smiling, yeah. Uh, you know my stand, you know my stand, yes, you know my stand. A tick has many kind of sins. When it gets into you, it may look small, undetectable. It doesn't demand much sacrifice, but it will leave you with some little irritation. Little irritation. The tick, once embedded, it is hard to get off you. It gets bigger the longer it stays. And I want to tell you, hmm, it leaves you very seriously healed. As students on this campus, <sighs> once you realize you are getting sick, where do you get to? The sick bay to see who? Doctor. doctor. And the doctor here is Jesus. My students, sin has power, sin has dominion, and sin rules our life. Sin is parasitic. The tick is a small blood sucking mite, but has the capacity to suck out life of man. If you watch out for spiritual stick in coat constantly, you'll be able to, through the help of the Holy Spirit, get rid of that sin before it overtakes your life. Don't even let the stick bite you. It takes time for a tick to stick. I leave you with this word, Jesus said. Those who are well have no need of a physician. Please, be aware and constantly concentrate on the word of God. Sorry class, I ended it up in a religious pattern. I'm so sorry. Please shall we bow our heads in prayer.